The Biden administration is currently investigating the practices of airline reward programs. This investigation impacts major US airlines such as American, Delta, Southwest and United, which have millions of loyal customers. The investigation has been initiated in response to growing concerns about the fairness and transparency of these reward programs. The Department of Transportation is at the forefront of this probe, aiming to uncover any potential issues. They are particularly interested in determining whether airlines are treating consumers fairly and equitably. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is spearheading the investigation, emphasizing the importance of consumer rights. He has formally requested detailed information from the CEOs of these major airlines to better understand their reward program practices. The Department of Transportation, along with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, are both deeply involved in this investigation. They have noted a significant increase in consumer complaints regarding the fairness of reward programs, including both airline and credit card rewards. This surge in complaints suggests there may be a broader systemic problem with how loyalty programs are managed. Although the investigation is still in its early stages, it has already garnered significant attention. At this point, it remains unclear what specific actions the administration will take as a result of their findings. However, this move clearly indicates a renewed focus on consumer protection within the airline industry. Airline reward programs have become increasingly complex in recent years, making it harder for consumers to navigate them. The government aims to ensure that these programs are fair and transparent for all travellers. This investigation is crucial for travellers who rely on these reward programs for their travel benefits. The outcome could lead to significant changes in how airlines manage and operate their reward programs. Passengers are hopeful that this will result in a more transparent, fair and user-friendly system for everyone. One major focus of the investigation is point devaluation, a practice that has left many frequent flyers feeling frustrated and disillusioned. This is when airlines increase the number of points needed for flights or upgrades, making it more difficult for passengers to use their hard-earned points. They often do this without much notice, catching travellers off guard and leaving them scrambling to adjust their plans. Passengers feel this erodes the value of their miles, making their loyalty feel unappreciated. It makes it harder to redeem them for travel, turning what should be a reward into a source of stress. Imagine saving points for a dream trip, planning every detail with excitement. Suddenly the airline increases the number of points required, shattering those plans. This means you need to save even longer, delaying your dream vacation. This is a common frustration for travellers who feel like they are constantly chasing a moving target. They feel like the goalposts keep moving, making it nearly impossible to achieve their travel goals. The investigation will examine if airlines are being unfair in their practices. Are they devaluing points too often and without sufficient notice to passengers? Are they giving passengers enough notice to adjust their plans accordingly? These are important questions for the investigation as they impact the trust and loyalty of frequent flyers. Airlines need to be mindful of point devaluation and its effects on their most loyal customers. Frequent flyers feel the impact deeply as they rely on these points for their travel plans. It can damage trust and loyalty, leading to a loss of business for the airlines. The investigation aims to bring balance to the system, ensuring fairness and transparency for all travelers. Another concern is the availability of award seats. These are seats you can book with points. Passengers often struggle to find these, especially during popular travel times. It's frustrating to have points but not be able to use them. The investigation will look at how airlines allocate award seats. Are they making enough available? Are they reserving them for specific passengers? These are questions the investigation will try to answer. Passengers complain about limited award seat inventory. They believe airlines make it hard to use points. This leads to frustration and a feeling of being misled. The investigation aims to address this issue. Airlines argue they need to manage award seats carefully. They claim to balance the needs of paying customers and reward members. The investigation will determine if this balance is fair. The investigation will also assess the transparency of reward programs. This means looking at how clearly airlines explain their programs. Do they provide clear terms and conditions? 
are point expiration policies easy to understand. Passengers complain about complex rules and calculations. They find it difficult to understand how they earn and redeem points. This lack of transparency leads to confusion and distrust. The investigation aims to bring clarity to reward programs. Airlines should provide clear and concise information. This includes details about earning points, redeeming points and program rules. Increased transparency would benefit both passengers and airlines. Passengers would feel more confident in the program. Airlines could reduce complaints and build trust with customers. Section 5. Passengers speak out. Passengers are sharing their frustrations with airline reward programs. They are reporting their experiences to the Department of Transportation and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. These complaints are a key part of the investigation. One common complaint is the difficulty of redeeming points. Passengers face blackout dates, limited seat availability and high fees. They feel trapped by a system that seems designed to make it hard to use their rewards. Passengers also complain about a lack of notice for changes. Airlines often devalue points or change program rules with little warning. This leaves passengers feeling powerless and frustrated. They want more transparency and fairness. The investigation gives passengers a voice. Their complaints are being heard. The government is taking their concerns seriously. This is a positive step towards a more consumer-friendly airline industry. Section 6. Airlines defend their programs. Major airlines have responded to the investigation. They defend their reward programs. They argue that their programs offer valuable benefits to frequent flyers. Airlines highlight the flexibility of their programs. They emphasize the range of redemption options from flights to merchandise. They claim to offer something for everyone. However, airlines acknowledge the need for improvement. They are open to working with the Biden administration to address concerns. They recognize the importance of transparency and fairness. Airlines are also quick to point out the competitive nature of the industry. They argue that they need to offer attractive reward programs to stay competitive. Section 7, Government Champions Consumers. The Biden administration is committed to consumer protection. This investigation is part of a broader effort to ensure fairness across industries. They believe consumers deserve clear and accurate information. This investigation sends a message to airlines. The government is watching. They are willing to take action to protect consumers. This could lead to stricter regulations for reward programs. The government's involvement is a positive development. It shows a commitment to consumer rights. Passengers are hoping for a more balanced and transparent system. The outcome of the investigation remains to be seen. However, the government's stance is clear. They are on the side of the consumer. Section 8. Potential consequences for airlines. The investigation could have significant consequences for airlines. If the administration finds wrongdoing, there could be new regulations. These regulations could target point devaluation. Airlines might need to give more notice before devaluing points. They might also face restrictions on how often they can devalue them. The government could also address award seat availability. Airlines may need to make more seats available for reward bookings. This would make it easier for passengers to use their points. Airlines could face penalties if they don't comply with new regulations. This could include fines or other enforcement actions. The government is serious about protecting consumers. Section 9. Industry braces for impact. The investigation has sent ripples through the airline industry. Airlines are watching closely, waiting to see what actions the government will take. The investigation could also impact credit card companies. Many airlines partner with credit card companies to offer rewards cards. If airlines change their programs, it could impact these partnerships. The investigation has sparked a conversation about the future of loyalty programs. Consumers are demanding more transparency and fairness. Airlines are feeling the pressure to adapt. This is a critical moment for the airline industry. How they respond to this investigation will shape the future of reward programs. Section 10, what it means for you. The investigation into airline reward programs is important for all the travelers, whether you fly frequently or just occasionally. 
It highlights the need for awareness and vigilance when it comes to these programs, ensuring you get the most out of your travel experiences. Here are some tips for navigating airline reward programs. Read the fine print carefully. Understand the terms and conditions of any reward program you join. Pay attention to changes as they can affect your benefits. Airlines often make changes to their programs, sometimes without much notice. Stay informed about any updates. Know your rights as a consumer and a traveler. If you feel you've been treated unfairly, don't hesitate to complain. Your voice matters. You can report issues with airline reward programs to the Department of Transportation or the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. They are there to help. Your feedback is valuable and can help shape future regulations, ensuring better practices. This investigation is a reminder that consumers have power. Your actions can lead to significant changes. By speaking out and demanding fairness, we can push for positive change in the airline industry, making it better for everyone.